And so it turns out our very own TV's Andy Levy not only knew Neil Gorsuch in college, but started a campus newspaper with him. Let's bring in TV's Andy Levy right now to get the scoop on that. Andy, thank you for joining us. I'm not really comfortable talking about this, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Andy, you guys, tell me about the paper. It was called The Fed, but it was The Federalist. It was correct? called The Federalist Paper because the three guys who wrote The Federalist Papers, uh, John Jay, Alexander Hamilton, and the third guy, James um, Madison. James Madison. <laughs> yeah, whatever. They all they went to Columbia or whatever. This was, no. Honestly, this was Neil was the one who came up with the name. I wanted it to be called the Columbia Independent to show that we were independent. I lost that battle. Oh wow. Yeah. So did you? Were there battles? You know, uh, on the editorial staff or what should be published? I heard it was satirical in nature. It's uh, people keep saying that it is now uh, a satirical newspaper. It was not when we founded it. it it's morphed into that since then. Um, but no, we, we, we wanted it to really be, look, this was Columbia in the 1980s, as opposed to Columbia now, which is a hotbed of conservative and libertarianism, from what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> but the kids won't remember, back in the 80s, colleges were very liberal. They were. Um, and and we, just, we just wanted there to be a, a, an opportunity for other voices on campus yeah. to be heard. So, so we started this newspaper. I was at Columbia then, and the Federalist Paper was an excellent paper. Much better than the left-wing pink Okami rag, the Columbia Spectator. Well, let, I did not go to an Ivy League college. I went to a state school. Let me get some <laughs> information you tell from, from, the hat. from Andy. So, Andy, when you, this was a newspaper. Yes. So how did you do it? Would you email uh, the, the printer, and then they no, would print them up Tom, for you? Tom, Tom, this was, this was the 1980s. There was barely electricity. <laughs> there, there was certainly no electronic mail. How no, did you make a we, newspaper? We literally would have to sit there. We had to teach ourselves how to lay out a newspaper. You would sit there with an X-Acto knife, and rubber cement, and, and you, would, you would cut the, the stories. You're joking. No, this is how you did it back then, and you would put it on this special paper, with the name of which I'm blanking on. Film, it was like a film. And, and, you, would, and you would lay it all out, and then you would send it off to a printer for them to print, you know, five, ten thousand copies, whatever, and inevitably you would find a typo or something after you sent it off to them, then you'd have to find out how much it would cost for them to fix it, and when it, was, it was an unbelievable hassle. And then eventually Columbia got Macintoshes, which are a kind of computer, <laughs> yeah. um, and they got, like, they got like 10 or 15 of them in the, in the campus uh, uh, computer center. And, and we learned how to do stuff on the Mac, but, but that was, again, we had to teach ourselves this. There was no, you know, you, th th this was 90 years ago, I think. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. So, Andy, about his politics, was he yeah. comfortable with your politics? Did he share your mm. ninth wave feminism? I don't believe he would con consider himself a ninth wave feminist even today. I, I, to be f fair, I was not a ninth wave feminist back then. I was... M Maybe fourth or fifth wave. <laughs> um, again, this was, this was a long time ago. No, but we, you know, one of the things when we founded this was we didn't want it to be an alternative voice. We wanted it to be a bunch of alternative voices. So th among the four founders, there were conservatives, there was m me, the wacko libertarian, and there was uh, even a guy who considered himself a democratic socialist. Oh! Yeah. Wow. So, Andy, uh, I, I sometimes call this the no spin zone. Sure. Would you say? <laughs> sure. That's catchy. Yeah. I, 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 I've heard of that. Yeah. yeah. Bottom line, do you yeah. think he will be a good Supreme Court justice? I think probably he will. Uh, I, I'll get in, in halftime report, I'll get into why John DeVore was completely wrong in, in one of the things he said. But look, Neil was an unbelievable, he's an unbelievably bright guy. Uh, he graduated Columbia in three years, which is a, a third of the time it took me. Yeah, and, and that's not even a joke. I wish it were. Um, and 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 he's incredibly level-headed, and and I and he's a, he is uh, he was back then, and I assume he is now a person of incredible integrity. Excellent, Andy. I want to get your take on this uh, bit of tape we have here. Uh, Greg Gutfeld, who I think you know, he was uh, he was talking about you, uh, and I'm not the, sure who that is. Who, what's his name again? Uh, Greg Gutfeld. He was talking about this appointment today, and he brought up Gutfield. Uh, Gutfeld. <laughs> he brought up Andy Levy. Let's roll the tape. Oh. It's got to be pretty sad to be Andy Levy because you got to think how woefully underachieved you are in your life <laughs> that he is going to be Supreme Court justice, and you are the red eye ombudsman and have been the red eye ombudsman for almost ten years. By the way, it's an influential position, I might add, but it's no Supreme Court justice. I want to get your take on that, Andy. First of all, what is it? What's an ombudsman? Is that your position, ombudsman? That is my position. It yes. is. Yes. Um, and would you describe it as seated as an influential position? I, I think it absolutely is. I, I think to to I don't want to knock down Glenn's point there, uh, but uh, <laughs> there are nine Supreme Court justices. There's only one ombudsman. 
That's right. <laughs> yes. uh, also, I, I, I looked it up. Uh, my job pays better. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, so you, had, you had to look that up? No. Yeah, well, uh -huh. I wasn't sure how much the Supreme Court justices made. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is like, that's pretty good. It, I mean, public information got to be. I mean, it, it is public information. How much do they, how they make? How much do they make? How much do they make? Well, I don't want to say that because then people will know I make more than that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's what I was going to say. It was, it was very revealing. Yeah. Yeah. I think we got to give them a raise. I mean, come yeah. on. That isn't a. I Supreme think we should Court? give me a raise to. Oh. <laughs> oh, them? Yeah, the Supreme Court. No, they're fine. Please. I don't know. If Again, there's nine of them doing the work of one person. Come on. Give me a break. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. Okay.